Hello, this is going to be a simple video. Pretty much all I'm going to show you is how to check is this Ethereum address valid? Is it really an address? And we're checking for that in the code. So this is, of course, a coding tutorial. Uh, to give you a better example of what you're going to be learning here. So this input right here, it accepts an Ethereum address. So when it's invalid, it's red, but then let's go copy my Ethereum address. If I copy that and then paste it in, you see it's blue. This is indeed an address. And if you put like a Z, now it's invalid. Or if you backspace, it's invalid. So this is exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to do this validity check in code. So let's go to the code. It's going to be pretty simple, but let's first set up like something. Let's set up an input, you know? So it's been a while since I've set up an input. I think it just needs a value. Um, how do you, so the value obviously takes in a value, but how do you actually set an input? I can't remember. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> so I do need value, also need on change. So we're just gonna have some state here. So we'll just, this will be address, set address. We're of course gonna be using state. Uh, by default, it's empty. On change, just call set address. Uh, and of course the value will be address. And I think that's it for this. That should be fine. So now we actually need to write the function that's gonna check, is this address valid or not? Actually, one more thing before we do that, let's do this. Let's put a conditional template. Let's say is valid address going to take the address and pretty much putting two ampersands just says uh, show the thing afterwards if this is true and don't show it if it's not true so we'll just put like a div and say address is valid Actually, it's probably better to do it like this. Let's do a ternary and then copy that. And we can say address is not valid. Noit valid. Cool. So now let's actually create this method here. So const equals that. Now we're gonna do the actual checking of the address, is it valid? So just remembered something, we need another library that I did not mention previously. We need to uh, install, so I'm using Yarn, you can use NPM of course, uh, a library called Web3. If you're already working on a Web3 project, there's a good chance that you already have this library installed, so cool. Uh, there's also ethers.js, which is very similar to Web3. I'm sure they also have a method, but I'm going to be using Web3. So speaking of that, go ahead and create a Web3 object. And this part is going to be return. And then you're going to be using utils. And then it's like to checksum. Yeah, there it is, to check some address. And it simply will take the address. And that is literally it. Like this will say if it's a valid address or not. And we can test that by of course, checking it out in the browser. Oh, okay. Uh, so I open the browser and I'm getting this error and I think I know why. I think it's because uh, actually, I'm going to think on this for a second. 
Okay, it might be because this is not the same as this. I don't know what it's... Because I'm passing an argument here, but I'm not passing an argument here. And I don't know how that works. So let's just say ADR. ADR and see if that fixes it. That did not fix it. Okay, that was my bad. I just realized what I did wrong. Uh, so we need to put this in a try catch block. And um, actually, I'm going to think for a second again. Okay, I think I have it now. We don't need to do this. We don't need to return from that. What we do need to do is have a catch. And then if if that error does happen, the error that we just saw, you just want to return false. You don't want to like mess up the browser. But if it passes and it works, then simply return true. And that should do it. So. This looks terrible, no CSS or styling, but you see it says address is not valid. If I type some stuff in there, ah, there's another error, great. I thought there was something I was missing. I need to do this, so. The on change takes an event, and then you're gonna say, it's like event.target.value, I think. That was the wrong, there we go. Now, let's hope this simple example doesn't get any more complicated. Uh, let's just refresh. Okay, so yes, now we can type in it. Address is not valid. Uh, I don't remember if, no, I thought I still had my address copied. Um, so, copy the address, paste it in. Address is valid. Your backspace, address is not valid. And then, so yeah, that's pretty much it. There's of course the basic setup that makes it hard to um, quickly get a tutorial going. But overall, this was really simple. Um, that's, yeah, that's how you check in code if a Ethereum address is indeed an address or not. Next time I can show how to check if a ENS address is valid or not, but that's a little bit out of the scope of this tutorial. So I hope this helped. If it did, feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.